Well, this is awkward. What's happening, everyone? Nicky Hawkins here, West Ham Fan TV, back once again with another video. Now, I haven't done one of these for a while. It's been a very positive place over at West Ham at the moment, and uh, there isn't been much to complain about. But things like this make me sick to my stomach, to be quite honest with you. The owners have been pretty much anonymous all season. We've got new investment. Everything's going well at West Ham. We could have got a better result against Burnley, but it is what it is. Uh, but all of a sudden, our Baroness, so to speak, uh, lets us down once again. And um, I think it's time she left, if I'm quite honest with you. And I don't want to just bring negativity on... on on the club, the club's doing very well at the moment. As I said, the owners are pretty much anonymous. We haven't heard much um, talk. But something that sticks in the back of my throat is um, politics, in my opinion, has no real place in football, you know. Um, apart from the fact that you want to drive out racism and all of this sort of stuff, then that sort of thing does because we're trying to make everything an equal and diverse place uh, to go and forget all of these problems that we've got in the world. And football um, has suffered over the last couple of years with COVID and everything else. And and and, and in turn, we've um, suffered as fans in terms of COVID. And it's quite ironic um, that we've got a, a woman that sits on our board of directors um, that 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 fancies herself as a little bit of a politician. I think um, not only a politician, she fancies herself as this business mogul, which you know she she's very good at, to be quite honest with you. But let me just see, Lady Brady, that sits in the House of Lords. That's not the House of Commons. This is the House of Lords, where you're unelected uh, and you're profiteering and you you know you're you're paying more or less to be there. Um, decides to say today. Uh, we can't force people to have these jabs, but we can force refuse nicks uh, to live a, a far more difficult, inconvenient and restricted life. One that will also be more expensive because of mandatory testing. So what she's basically saying there is anyone that refuses to have the jabs, um, let's make it difficult for them uh, because we're all suffering. Now, I am. It doesn't matter what I am. To be quite honest with you, because I don't sit in the House of Lords, but I've had my jabs. I will have my booster jab. I will have a fourth jab if they want me to have a fourth jab. Um, but it's becoming, it's, the, the lines are being blurred with these COVID jabs. And I don't want to talk about COVID on a football channel, um, but this is this is why I am. Because, look, I'm a firm believer that you should have the jab if you want to have the jab have the jab and and you know we want we, we all want life to continue and i've had my jabs and i've got no problem with it um and 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 so on and so forth and you know everyone that's vulnerable has had it and and people have it but what i do although i want everyone to to have the jab and i don't believe in the conspiracy theories i don't see what people will get out of you know, having to have these jabs and, you know, wearing masks and what they're thinking, you know, people saying we're living in, um, you know, a, a controlled state and all that sort of thing. I just want to go back to normal. Politics is not my forte, to be quite honest with you. But what I don't want at my football club is a woman that refuses people's rights. And that's that's what I am an advocate is in, in, in the right to do what you want to do. If you don't want to have the jab, you ain't got to have the jab. In my opinion, if you don't want it, if you don't trust it, you want to wait till later on, don't have it. That's that's down to you. I don't want anyone trying to force me from that side to tell me I'm a sheep or I'm this or I'm that because I've had the jab. But what I don't want also is someone telling me um, or telling people in the House of Lords, we, we you know, we need to make these, these, these you know, more difficult because they're, um, you know, they're, they're spreading the disease and all that. Well, what are the jabs for? You know, and I don't want to get into the ins and outs of it, but I thought these were meant to be protecting us, whether they've been spread or not. I don't understand. So what I'm not an advocate of is somebody sitting in our salon that sits on our board of directors that, that, that represents our football club. She, she writes for The Sun for a start, which is a big no-no in my opinion, but 
she's got away with that for so many years. She's been pulled up on it, and she says she, she, you know, plain out refuses to do that. But now she's sitting in the House of Commons, uh, sorry, the House of Lords. Listen, uh, she she represents our football club. Her face, you know, she wants to be a TV star. She wants to go and do the Apprentice with with Alan Sugar and all of that sort of thing. But at the heart of things, she's associated with West Ham United Football Club. And saying things like this is obviously talking about, for one, her own daughters, because her own daughters refuse to have the jab. Um, and she wants to make things more difficult. But it's going to be a lot of our fans. Now, as I say, this is blurring the lines quite a bit in between a democratic elected um i'm trying to find the right words i might not come out with the right words so forgive me but uh, uh, you know a, a freedom to choose you know if if it was tb i i, I never had a tb jab because I, I never i never uh i wasn't in school when they was giving them out and they was they was sort of not compulsory but you know you had them at that time but I never was there for the for the TB jab and I never got the TB jab that was my right if I'd have died of TB that's my problem and the same pe thing with the people that refuse to get the COVID jab if they die of COVID then that's their problem you know they have to deal with that sort of thing and you know that that's their choice but I do I'm a big believer in choice you've got the choice to do it if you don't want to do it we shouldn't be living in a a, a dictatorship where you, you know they're sort of telling you you have to have it you know if 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 the, the if it's your choice not to have it but the uh, consequences of not having it is you can't go to football you can't go to this then you know even people then might not might, might just say well it's, it, for me it's not worth it but what i can't have is somebody representing our football club that are basically turning around and saying force them force them to get it because if they don't, we're going to make their life really difficult. I think that's crossing the line. I really do. I think that's crossing the line. And I don't want someone that's got that mindset that like living in Nazi Germany, you know, I don't want someone with that mindset in, in my football club. We've all got a choice. You know, I, I respect the choices. I don't want people throwing it down my throat. As I say that I'm a I'm a sheep and all that because I choose to get it. I don't agree with the people that you know what, what, you know want to want to call your names and, and force you not to get it. But I do agree with the people that, that have chosen not to get it, and I'm not, I know a few, and I won't name them. Um, because this jab for the ones that do get it is meant to protect us, and it's it's obviously clearly not working. If they're blaming, <coughs> well, I, don't, I wouldn't say it's not working, but. If they're blaming the spread of the disease to the to the jab, you know, I think I read a quote earlier saying it must be the only time in history where we're blaming the spread of a disease on people not taking the medicine over people that are. It, it's ridiculous. It's, it's, it's people's choice. And I'm, I'm a big advocate of choice. And I think she's overstepped the mark here. I really do. I really do. I think she's overstepped the mark. I, I'm, I'm, I'll be honest with you, I'm just sick of her. Sick of her at our football club. Just, you know, as, as everything's going well, she just does something that drags her through the mud. And it's, it, it's always, it's barely ever football nowadays, but it's always her other interests. You know, Tory party supporters, whether you want to support the Tory party or not. Again, I'm a big advocate of choice. I'm not into people that just bash the Tories for the sake of bashing Tories. I don't back any any politic, political party because I, I, I find them all to be liars and, and thieves. If I'm quite honest with you, that's my that's my personal opinion. I don't I don't swing either way. Um, I don't follow politics. I don't vote for that reason. But when you've got someone so involved in politics, obviously swinging whatever way they swing, it, it, it's going to make your football club look bad. And you're obviously going to be talking about and and indicating that supporters of that football club should be punished. Um, for something they choose to do and we're meant to be living in a freedom in a, in a democracy and um, that just for me is not the way that leave your opinion down below I don't mean to go on about COVID but this has caught my attention today and I don't like it and I think it's about time she left and I'm, I'm sure other people would um, agree with me but 
let me know your comments in the comment section down below. I might have got it all wrong. It's just my opinion. That's what this channel is all about, opinions. But let me know in the comment section down below. Um, thank you very much for watching. One thing left to say. Oh, Arsenal Wednesday, so catch up all the little stuff. I've done a preview with John, Don Robbie, and um, that'll be up tomorrow. But, yeah, let me know. One thing left to say. Come on, you ones.